while the uh, while the rent parts are drying I'm going to start working on uh, uh, removing the trim I've already taken some of the trim off in these places here and here uh, I'll show how I'm removing this trim uh, the tools um, is a drill motor uh, bits that uh, are the correct size your drill bits a punch um, some uh, putty knives and something to just pull the rivet heads off of your drill bit sometimes they get stuck on there but uh, anyway I'm uh, pulling all of this off I'll pull off the drip molding I'll pull the windows out I'm going to pull these uh, these guards off it uh, looks like today the newer trailers are using some type of a, a black material a glue on material and I'll probably take this off and, and use that material instead of this. Uh, this doesn't look like it works very well. So uh, I'm, it'll be interesting to see what's underneath here when I pull that up. Uh, so uh, anyway, um, uh, to, uh, to remove this trim, uh, you pull these, uh, these two larger rivets out first and uh and then you uh, pull the pull the plastic strip out and there are some smaller rivets underneath and you drill those out uh the way you do it is uh you take your drill bit uh, you drill into the head and usually this head will spin off of the rivet and you can take your uh, your punch and your hammer and just uh, drive the rest of the rivet out with the punch and uh, and then just take your putty knife and pull that off. Uh, you can see I've uh, drilled out uh, those two large rivets. Um, here's the head. They just usually come off. And these are the decorative pieces. I'll take those and clean those up and polish them and clear coat them and reuse them. I'll probably go ahead and just take this drill motor. Drill out the rest of the rivet. And then pull out this piece here and you see those smaller rivets and I'm going to drill those out. Okay I've knocked those rivets out. I've changed over to my smaller drill bit and I'm going to drill those out. And I'll probably just take the punch and knock the heads off of those and then drive the stems out with my punch. Okay, as you can see, um, I've drilled out those smaller rivets and uh, I've pulled off this piece of trim. Uh, actually, some of the, the skin, it, there weren't any more rivets holding it, so the skin kind of popped back uh, after I pulled it, uh, pulled this piece of trim off. Uh, I may shoot some rivets in there to hold the skin down before I put the trim back. One thing I noticed is they used button-headed rivets underneath this trim, and I'm not sure if the trim is actually setting flush since they have these button-head rivets uh, holding the skin on and then the trim over the top of it. I'll have to look a little closer at that. Uh, so I think the next thing I'll do is be pulling this window out. Uh, as you see, the, over the years, this, this uh, molding has... Uh, has shrunk and is pulled away. I think I found a place on the internet that uh, sells this uh, rubber molding. It's a vintage trailer website, so I'm going to probably get some of that uh, and see if it'll work. The only thing is it's gray instead of black, but as long as it'll work, it, uh, I'll, I'll live with the gray. Well, I've removed uh, most of the trim from this side uh, and the window. I haven't removed that uh, one long piece of trim at the top, but uh, I've gotten everything else else off. I also got these uh, these cover panels off that uh, I guess were foot protections or something for the escape door. Um, they're down here. They're really, really flimsy metal, and. Uh, it, it appears at one time the trailer may have been a different color from the appearance of the paint underneath that uh, item. 
Um, so anyway, uh, it's coming along good, getting the trim off. Uh, also on the paint, uh, it's been, oh, about three, three and a half hours, and it's, uh, it's not tacky anymore, so um, I can put my hand on it. And uh, I would say uh, that formula works okay. So uh, I'll let this set overnight and see how it looks in the morning. And I'll have to flip this frame over and paint the other side before I, I uh, slide the plywood and sheet metal up inside of it.